water will just... These two small paragraphs will take about 10 minutes to write, but can make a huge difference. Mr. Wainer is so impressed with your class and thoughtfulness that he mentions you to his close personal friend, renowned architect, Renzo Piano. Soon he'll be a London junior architect, wealthy and popular with all who know you. Behold the power of the thank you note. <laughs> Because you haven't thanked them? I'm not a London architect. Come on, join us. We got some food here. Welcome to the season six premiere of the Billion Queen show. Uh, last season saw some ups and downs. I thought this was season seven. This is season seven. seven. This is season seven, actually, yeah. Well, a lot of I don't seasons. count season three. It's kind of, I was, I was fired as the showrunner, so I don't count it. Yeah. This is the real season six. That's what I like to call it. A, but um, I just want to say I'm sorry to everyone for not posting a video since um, last year. And I just want to... 2018. Wanna, I want to thank all the people that watched the BronyCon video, which has well, getting a lot of views now. It's the most viewed video. Shut up. And I want to... I'm just trying to... You know, do the thank you know in that format. <laughs> it was very nice of you. You're supposed to be specific and then say how it's useful. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thank you for the 10,967 people that watched the video, and it was useful because it made me a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> did you did you ever finish that? No, well, we're, we're not going to talk know. about that. We're not going to talk about that. That's not the point. The point is to talk about some food. We got Let's do the appetizers first because I don't want to have like. Alright, well, so what are you introducing then? Tell me where it is. Okay, this is Martinelli's unfiltered apple juice. Now, I've always been a fan of Martinelli's. It's As the best apple juice you can get best, anywhere. Best apple you. cider. Sparkling cider. Best cider. I've had the sparkling cider. They also, in the store, they did have cider. I was tempted by that. But this really jumped out for its its thickness, the opacity of this of this liquid is it's very it's striking. It looks like the the like the stuff they throw away when they make the apple juice. It's like the apple waste. It's not supposed to be drunk. It's since 1868, and it's pressed from U.S. grown fresh apples. No concentrates, no sweeteners. All right. So let's give it pure a try. apple action. Yeah. It's a little bit hard to pour. Yeah, I can see that. It looks a little unwieldy. Oh, hey, how's it going? That's plenty. That's more than plenty. <laughs> just we're we're just doing a food review. We're doing some YouTube. Oh, you're, you're yeah. welcome to join. Yeah. Come on, come yeah. On you can take we, have a, we have an extra cup set up. We have an extra cup just in case. I think it was an accident, but we'll say it was just in case. No, it was intentional. <laughs> Everything's intentional. I got the cup out. This is the unfiltered uh, Martinelli's apple juice, which is why it's so <laughs> opaque. It kind, of, kind of looks like something you know a farmer would have, like it's a really moonshine apple. It's the yeah, color of applesauce. It looks like a bunch of like drained yeah. off applesauce. Oh, uh, it's got the very sharp. It says a green apple smell. It's very much very identifiable. Cheers! Cheers to season six. The new season and to the reviews. Well, Martinelli's is something very special. It's true. This I, is like apple milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's perfect because, like, uh, uh, Martinelli's, when I drink it normally, it, it tastes just like this, except it has the consistency of, like, very cold, fresh water. Yes. Uh, this is just slightly more viscous, just slightly. It's like apple milk. If you've had, like, almond milk, it's like the consistency of almond milk. It's Agreed. just, it's very smooth. Just, just, you just, so it's smooth. just, you're kissing the rim of the cup and it just flows into you. This is like the best part of the applesauce, like after you kind of like have your little plastic spoon and you finish yeah. it off, like the like mm -hmm. kind of weird tasting like texture, then you get to the juice and you just down it. Delightful. This is what it is. Delightful. And also apple juice is renowned for its kind of its tanginess. You get that kind of that tanginess in the back of your mouth. This does not have that. Mm. It's the sweetness. It has a nice finish, a little bit of the more tangy apple flavor, but it doesn't stick in your mouth like Forever. Apple juice it doesn't, to do. it doesn't yeah. stick around unwanted. It's mm -hmm. very clean, it's very refreshing. It's got a nice crisp finish, like the green apple kind of breath it gives you, but it's not it's not annoying or like gross or sour. It's just, yeah. it's just perfect. 
Mm-hmm. This is the best apple juice I've had, I would say, I would say it's in my life. Easily. Best Martinelli's I've had, which means it's by far the best apple yeah. juice I've had. It's one of the best drinks I've had. So, great stuff. So, what numbers? Nice How are you guys doing? Best apple juice, not the best Martinelli's, I think. I still prefer their uh, apple cider. Okay. But, I like um, a little fizz. I, not, I think that sure. messes with flavor, but it's definitely a 9 out of 10. Sure. I'll go, eight, I'll go 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Right. 9 out of 10. Let's move on. So this is, this is one of the most enthusiastic um, likes we've had on this show, I think. I think we're the most united front we've had. We're, uh, right? we're starting off strong, guys. It's a new, new season in here. So don't, don't mess it up, Oreos. <laughs> That's going to be don't the only thing we like this entire year. Brownie <laughs> batter Oreos. Yeah. Right, let's Continuing this. the terrible tradition I'm of, reviewing uh, Oreos. of special... They had um, we. I was considering getting the, the Thin Mint Oreos. You didn't help yourself, Which is yeah. a completely like bizarre appellation. Just like it's just a bizarre idea. What is really. the bizarre idea? The thin, the thin mint Oreos. Oreos. Like I don't I don't know if they call them thin mint Oreos, but it seems like they're almost like trying to trick your brain into thinking that you're buying thin mints, the Girl Scout cookies, which yeah. are much better than Oreos. I, mean, I don't care for those myself, but I get it. Sure. I mean, I don't like to me the Oreo is all about the cream. I'm not as big on the cookies. Yeah. So to take away some of the cream, to me, they're trying. I guess I get what they're doing. They're trying to do the inverse of the double stuff. But to me, that has no appeal whatsoever. I would never buy those. So the the, the filling is about exactly the same color as the cookie. Yeah. To me, there's a weird like if you look at the the front the frosting there's like two little layers of it yeah it's there, true fine, which i've never seen before in an oreo they're like two little pressed together layers of cream but i love the look it's got a very dark look it's got a very rich decadent look i can kind of know how it's going to taste I, I'm, I'm optimistic I, I think i am well so let's talk about the smell the smell is distinct i'm getting the bakedness the baked essence of brownies it really does kind of smell like a brownie batter oh I, yeah, yeah i disagree it doesn't taste yeah. baked to me it tastes like like the batter would like batter. Smells, yeah. Enough, okay. enough, yeah it smells like the batter would yeah yeah but i, I it is brad they are credit it is brownie batter that's what it says it doesn't say brownies yeah so i think they, they, they as far as the scent goes they do yeah all right well all right let's let's go right in let's take a take a bite <laughs> Two cookies, but it's as close as you could realistically get. Yeah. It's got a very nice, it's just a very nice flavor. I've loved it in the texture. The texture is just like very like, it's batter-like. It's kind of like hardened. It's mushy. Well, I, I dig it. I think it's creamy. We've, uh, we're going to have a disagreement pretty early on then. Oh, you're not a fan of Yeah, I, okay, well, original double stuff, you know, Oreos. Cream is always the best part for sure. I was always a fan of the uh, actual cookie itself. This kind of uh, disappoints me. I don't know, I don't... I don't really have a feeling for Do you not like the chocolate in the chocolate cookie? Is that something you dislike? It's a bit of a disappointment. The uh, the cookie shell itself has the classic Oreo taste. The, together, I felt like it didn't mix for me. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I prefer this. This is my favorite Oreo, but I think for what no. they are. Like, if you're buying these and it's something you want, I think they're not going to disappoint you. I think they're going to do exactly what you you think they're gonna do. Yeah. This, so, is for, uh, this is for the person who eats, on average, eight packages of Oreos a week and is looking for something that's a little bit different. Yeah. But similar. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I would go, I would say a, a seven for me. I think that these are, these are a fine product. They're not the best Oreos, but they're certainly solid. And I like them. Better than the fucking watermelon Oreos. Uh, much, I respect much, 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 I much just respectfully much. agree. So you do uh, agree that they're better no, than I, the water. I, I just wanted to say that at some point. I hadn't said it yet in my life. Uh, some numbers? Kind of like the other one. I would uh, dissuade anyone from buying this. I'd say a 3 out of 10. Whoa, that's, that's wow. harsh. harsh yeah, that is harsh. Um, execution was good. I'm not a big fan of brownies. I'm not a huge fan of Oreos. But I, I, gotta, I can't fault for their execution. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I'll, I'll give it a slightly more positive 6.5 out of 10. This is very solid. Better than average, but not great. Not nowhere even near great. Evan didn't even finish it. It's just that's that's, that's he's, just, he's just doing it as a fuck you to the Oreo people. He could finish it. As disrespect. A lot. Disrespect. We're gonna leave it out here so they know. Just so they see. But well, your opinion is noted. You remember? We you know you're, how you feel. All right. Next, we got some Enemins, um, rich frosted donuts. You know, I'm sure everyone's had Enemins something or other. They made like 
snack cakes, chocolate things, you know, it's kind of cheap, just, you know, you know, it's not much more to discuss. It's pretty self-explanatory. These are the chocolate frosted donuts. They look pretty, they're pretty shiny looking. Uh, they're very, it's a very plasticky, hard layer of um, uh, frosting here. It's like almost like there's nothing underneath it. It's just pure frosting. It's not particularly dense. It's pretty light. Um, doesn't feel too substantial. But, um, if, I mean, you know, again, I, I already kind of have a sense of how this is going to be. Because I think I've had something similar. But in terms of scent, the scent is kind of bad. The scent is kind of like, it doesn't really smell chocolatey. It kind of smells like cheap, bad pastry. It, it's kind of a weird artificial smell. I don't a bit know redolent of plastic. I, I can't be too strong about it. You're probably imagining actual plastic. It doesn't taste, it smells really like plastic, but it's, it's definitely a process. Chemical process. It's very processed. It's very processed. Yeah, like you can see it smell, yeah. All right. I like the shine on it. It's fairly unpleasant. It's fairly not pleasant. Interesting. I'd say they're kind of just, they're kind of, eh, they're like the, 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 the cake itself, like the, the donut-y part is like, it's very bland. <coughs> it, it makes no impression. It just kind of goes down. You're mostly tasting the chocolate. And the chocolate itself isn't like a, isn't at all like brownish or, or delectable or like, creamy or sweet it's just kind of a it's just like a plasticky coating it's an obligatory it, chocolate it's very obligatory it all it all it tastes you know it, it does it's, it's like you get oh yeah this is supposed to be a chocolate donut but it's kind of the most mediocre version of that thing um so yeah i'm not crazy about these um yeah the chocolate is really this, this presentation i don't taste chocolate at all in fact i just taste um, the filling, which is cake-like, but it is it is of the snack cake sort of genus. It is very yeah. um, sort of, I, I would call it light. It's not very heavy, and, but consequently doesn't have much baked flavor. It's more like a cake than a donut, I would say. More like right. a cake than a donut, yeah. This is very much like a mindless like snack to just kind of inhale like three or four. Of it's the course. snack equivalent to like a Transformers movie. Yeah. <laughs> I would I would really enjoy this with some terrible like shitty black coffee, like really? Folgers what, instant black this would coffee. This be like a four in the morning, yeah. five in the morning yeah. black coffee yeah. shitty, you know, and a quick donut as I'm heading out the door. Honestly, I would say you said the snack cake genius, but comparing it to other snack cakes and like stuff from Hostess or the other like stuff, the cinnamon buns or whatever you get from a dollar for a dollar at the gas station. I think that stuff's better than this, honestly. That's yeah, like, I agree. That's like sweeter, and tastier it's than this stuff. It's got more going on. You're right. Absolutely. So I would, I would have to. I'm just I'm, describing the filling. I would go between. I would say I'd give it a generous, like five out of ten. I think that's that's kind of how I feel. I'll give it a three out of ten. What? I was really thinking like, what would I give lower than a five if I could use a five? Yeah. Well, this I is, mean, I don't. They're not uh, actively unpleasant to me. They're like, they're, there's nothing wrong. Like, I don't, I don't hate them. They're just kind of it, you know, that's five. It's very much an average snack, but I'm a little more positive. I would say like a six out of ten. You know, I'm not very negative about these, but still, I can't give them like more than a five. I'd give them a four. Okay. That's fair enough. Six does seem a bit high to me, but, but, um, but I'll, I'll allow it. Kind of gave a six to the brownie Oreos. Yeah, but those were better than that. Okay. Are these the start yeah. of these? These are yeah, exotic. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I gotta say, first of all, I, that I adore this package. This is a panda made from all natural ingredients. Cherry licorice. Cherry licorice. The real taste of licorice. It's made in Finland. Made in Finland. Real cherry. Little panda. But that, this box is just delightful. I love the yeah. logo. I love the colors. It I love the prints. It has a very like, tea feel to it. It like, looks like it's tea. Yeah, I was like, tea. what did you buy? Did you buy a candle? I'm like, what is this? Yeah, it looks like something that's like too, it's healthy. It's too good to be true. Well, right? really, so, yeah, no, the packaging phenomenal so far. The, I, I feel like the ingredients are like kind of interesting just because it's a, it's a relatively short list. It's not completely void of processed parts, but molasses, wheat flour, cherry puree, citric acid, natural flavor, black carrot juice concentrate, licorice extract. That's respectable. I know what all of those things are. Even okay. if none of, if, even if they're not like organic or like 
That's like really good for you. It's like, I mean, as far as candy all, all goes, natural. it's all very natural. respectable for for a candy. I mean, it's it's like as much as you can, you know. I think that that's very respectable. It just made from all natural ingredients, and I think they they honor that. Um, Oh, it opens real easily, dude. It slides right open. I, I hate when I have to open one of these and it rips. That's like just a pet peeve of mine. This did not do that at all, to the fine folks at Panda's credit. You open it up and there's like a plastic seal. What the fuck? Which I guess is why it opens so easy, because otherwise you can just open it and poison it <laughs> at the store. So, okay, so I'm gonna open this guy. Oh, it does rip a little bit when you get, take this plastic seal off. Oh, God, they just lost all their goodwill. Look at that crap. Wait, a ton of little... Uh, well, I wonder though if that's more of a your problem than the box. User problem. error, mm -hmm. user error. User error. error. Alright, enough of this. None of this crap. <laughs> Ooh, the smell oh, is very oh, much yeah. like grandma's grandma's kitchen spices smell. It's it's like not a not a candy Ooh. delicious smell. Oh, that's the real shit smell. That's what that's good. That's a good smell. It, yeah, it doesn't smell, there's no like real artificial strong cherry smell. It's got a very, it's a real smell. It smells like almost like it has spices or curry or something, or something Absolutely. to it. Well, you know what, it's funny, because after he started opening it, this box almost reminded me of like a curry Chinese food. Ass. You want, you want to try one of these guys? Oh, oh, yeah, man, oh, oh not excited about one. Let me try one. Yeah, yeah just, they're a little bit of a nice thing. my nose in there. <laughs> I mean, they're like, um, they're very dark. They're more brown than well, red. dark cherry. Uh, yeah, I kind of like the brownness because again, it feels like when you think cherry candy, you think the really bright red, really kind of sickly sweet looking artificial. This looks very real. When I think of licorice, I think of like the dark licorice. I think of like, like red beans. Like which dark are... black licorice? Yeah. Oh, see, no, not for me. I think yes. of red vines. I think of red vines yeah. as well. So. Yeah. I've had red... black licorice that I liked. Like I've been trying to find, like I don't know, when I was small, and by that I mean when I was in sixth grade, when I was in middle school, my dad would like eat black licorice whenever he watched the sci-fi channel and i don't know what brand it was <laughs> but uh i really liked it and i haven't been able to find anything like that what did they show on the sci-fi channel when you were in sixth grade the x-files like no like mecha dog stargate atlantis well, jaws Battlestar Galactica. Was still going yeah Battlestar galactica on the sci-fi channel lunch i was baffled that's kind of bizarre it's like i guess that's only by the most generous of definitions so the licorice um, actually, I mean, <laughs> Connor's fed up with this shit. Off, like the packaging, the treat itself reminded me of like the shows when they always give the, the, go to the grandma's house and she gives a piece yes. of candy out of like this jar that feels like it's been sitting on top of a fridge forever. That's what this candy was for me. To me, it's kind of gross. I don't yeah, like it. It's I not what I want out of licorice. It, it, it feels like like candy that's like grandma candy and that's probably healthier, but that isn't isn't tasty. It's got a weird aftertaste. It, it makes me feel a little sick to my stomach. I, I don't like these one bit. I like it okay. It's um, it tastes like Twizzlers, but like better, more better quality. It's definitely closer to a darker licorice than a yeah. lighter red. Yeah. I I don't love it. I would rather have black licorice. I think just I don't. Maybe I'm imagining liking black licorice, but like this is fine. That's an acquired taste. Yeah. It's not for everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Um, I like the texture. It's like a harder gummy, but not like a chewy gummy. Not sure, no. Falls right apart. Yeah. Well, the texture is nice. I do like the way it kind of falls and breaks apart in your mouth. But I do like it. It's got that sticky, kind of gross feeling that's not going to go away till Christmas. It definitely, then, definitely leaves the most aftertaste of the stuff we've had so far. Yeah, it's like the opposite of the apple juice. Yeah. Alright, well, let's move on. Oh, numbers, numbers. Um, Six. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go three also. Seriously? This is worse than Entenmann's? Because I don't like this at all. Okay. I enjoyed that one. Your opinions are wrong. I had this when I was in class. It was like one of the last days of class. We're discussing romantic landscape in poetry. Someone pulls out one of these, passes it around, and I'm like, this is like good licorice. This is licorice I don't like. I've been like traumatized by my experiences with real licorice. Hate light licorice. Hate it. I had one of these. Oh man. I fell in love. I would. I literally. I was supposed to pass around. I didn't pass around. I did all of it <laughs> without even really thinking. <laughs> that was how. So I think also there's an element of the chocolate that we've eaten has interfered a little bit with the with the starting note of the licorice. I think the after the aftertaste is what you get, but the starting note does not seem as sweet in comparison to the chocolate stuff that we just had. Um, I give this like an eight. You know, this is a really good candy. Yeah, I, a six? yeah, I said a six, oh. but it's like a high six. 
Or, so it's, it was split 50-50, basically. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now th there's 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 a story to be had. Right, my well, stepmother's up, from a, a my stepmother's from Argentina, and recently her relatives came and they brought me stuff from Argentina, and among those things was Argentine chocolate. So uh, the bizniki. I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of this is. Well, you know what? Yeah, there's nothing in English. <laughs> well, it looks, it looks like five individual packages of the candy. Yeah. Very much looks similar to a Kit Kat. It looks like there's like that. dark chocolate and like a lighter, a, like milk chocolate and then a lighter strip going down the middle and then there's like puffed rice in, in inside or something. Well, it says right here that it's uh, chocolate with milk and, um, you know, so with a bit of white chocolate. chocolate inside actually with a vanilla White flavoring. chocolate and, yeah. What's that? What's that say? Um, I don't know. I don't That's know where my that. high school Spanish ends. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, I can understand the first two lines, but not the rest. Um, We're doing our best. There's no this flavor. Part of this there's no flavor text. Mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. I don't know. Well, let's open well, it up. I'll put in the description what Google Translate tells us this is saying. <laughs> yeah. so, or in the, on the annotation or something. So you'll see what. Oh, wow. See, yeah, I said they're individual. I love the. Oh, I love this though. Look at these. Look at this packaging, man. Oh, uh, it's got. The, it's a little like. It, it sticks out a little bit. It's got some texture. The words. Ah, uh, I'll get the sheen. It's very nice. It's a very sharp looking candy. I do. I love the little picture, the little logo, and the nice blue. I just, I, I, if I saw this at the score, I would, I would want to buy it. I would just, more so than the outer bag. This is an guy. ideal Halloween type candy to be passed. Oh, yeah. Like, I would a born exotic, I would never be able to find it in the store the next day. Oh, <laughs> vanilla filling. Vanilla filling. Rayano is filling. Yeah. I don't know what these chocolates. It opens really clean too. It just it just slides right open, which I love, as you know. It just oh, there you go. It's like a little it's present. Like a Hershey, like on this. There's like two layers to it. There's like the foil, and they're just uh, there's merged. There's like the outer layer of plastic, and there's the foil. I love like this the foil packaging. It really I, makes it look more like a treat than. A, this feels a dense. This feels substantial. Yeah, there's it's kind of heavy. To this guy. Well, you know, there's it, it does have milk in it. And also the it it's also, milk chocolate. Yeah. Part it's of it is cookie. Part yeah. of it is cookie as well, according to the ingredients on the back, which are in English. And the little yeah. indentations that divide. What? Filled with biscuit. Milk and white chocolate filled with biscuit. Mm. Right, a breading. Yeah. So it is like a Kit Kat kind of thing. I like to observe as well that the indentations that separate the candies are much shallower, so they're taking less candy away from you. So you got to work a little harder to break it. I'm gonna dive right in. That like the the flavor and kind of like a slightly more bitter, less sweet, at least less like like pound it pound you over the head sweet. Which like I th I find it's typical with like Latin chocolate for no, some reason like stuff closer. stuff that's from the Dominican Republic, which is where my dad is from, or from Argentina. Usually the chocolate tastes like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it it's other like than anise yeah. Have you ever had panazette? Yeah. It tastes like almost like black licorice. Like this is definitely a more of a Spanish style chocolate than mm -hmm. American Hershey's. It's definitely heavier, it feels that way. It, it, I'm actually kind of a fan, it reminds me of like a very coffee-like oriented yeah. snack. Yeah. Well, I don't like I don't like Hershey's, so I'd say this is definitely better. It's, it's a little denser. I was worried about kind of the cookie, crumbly, like filling around because I love Kit Kat and really generally my chocolate. I like it just a creamy, smooth block of chocolate. Like that's why I want chocolate. But this really adds to the texture. It just makes it feel like you're getting more for your more bang for your buck. Mm. It's like a really crunchy, yummy, like it all just kind of goes together. I dig the texture. And literally, I wouldn't call it bitter or anything. It's it's a little the sweetness is a little it's a little reined in compared to what you might be used to, but I think it's fine. I think it's still like really, really yummy. It's still chocolate, it's still still tasty. Mm. And I love the color too. I love that like milky like white, like a wave through it too. Yeah, the presentation was was great. The presentation is top notch. Yeah, I feel very positive about this candy. As you are. Thoughts? You know, if I'm in like a chalet in the Patagonia about to go skiing, I might consider this with a coffee or something. And I would, I would sh surely enjoy it. At this moment though, where I am in America, I can't take it so much. Um, but have we done have we done numbers? 
Oh, no. Uh, you know, this actually, I think, deserves to be eaten. Like, you know, just a small little break of it with like a mocha type drink. Very popular in Spanish. Sure. Like, or a 40. A very heavy chocolatey <laughs> for a chocolatey <laughs> coffee drink. But uh, I really like this. So we'll I'm going to mix it, it together. And then... Seven and a half, eight out of ten. Feel more or less the same. Um, on a good day in eight today, I'd say a seven. I'd go seven. 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 I'll give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Argentina. Well, uh, what's next? Uh, we're Come getting on. we're getting near the end, but uh, let's go with these. Uh, they kind of remind me of Starburst, but I'll let Tyler give the introductions. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a strong resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it looks like a Mexican knockoff from Starburst. <laughs> yeah. But I'm excited. Very Actually, it says Caramelos Blancos Sabores Sortidos a Frutilla Menta Anana. So, uh, apple, banana, well, lemon, different. manzana, I don't know, and na banana. naranja. Anana is uh, pineapple. Anana is pineapple, manzana is apple. Wait, what's banana? Banana is banana. banana. Okay. And naranja is orange. Well, it's, uh, they want to do this. They look a little smaller than Starburst. Open it. Starburst they're like a little bit, they're, yeah, they're a little bit thinner and a little bit wider. They're more squat. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So just dump a bunch out. I'll take, I like the oranges a lot. I'm going to take an orange. Well, I'm going to go with they, the Yeah, blue. they feel, oh, well, I'm going to go with the They green. feel a little petite, they right. feel a little brittle. They feel kind of hard. They feel kind of hard, yeah. Well, I think you're meant to suck on these, actually, for a bit. So it's like a hard candy? Yeah, you suck on it for a bit, and then you begin to chew it as it gets softer. Let's take a look. A it does have the blood. same coloring. Look at this. It's got like a. It's blood. got a very. Um, Thanks a lot. It looks a bit like taffy. It's got kind of a taffy color, a taffy consistency. It's got the same kind of sheen taffy wood, as well as that like texture in the middle there, the way it breaks. And Starburst is taffy. Is it, is it really? I mean, this is. I mean, I don't know. This seems more. I mean, I don't know. This oh. reminds me more of Laffy Taffy in the look than what I've seen of Starburst. And then just the way it breaks, I don't know. I mean, this looks like one broken half. This is honestly. actually very similar to Laffy Taffy. Oh, yeah. Very. Much flavor, though. Yeah, well, it's a lot smaller. Yeah, but like, I really gotta work for what flavor I'm getting. It's like gesturing at an orange. It's like a twang charade. It's like, it's like, uh, it's round, it's, it's orange. I might be cheating in charades. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting, where's like a back? Taste, a taste in the back, not not like an aftertaste, but like there's like the taste that's like on the top layer, and then the taste that's like on the back in the background. It's kind of like a waxy, unpleasant taste. Mm. I feel like this is much more natural, rudimentary than Starburst. I feel like mm. though it has less flavor, that's probably due to less amount of chemicals, I, like and the, and the, the flavor that is exuded, it might actually. The derivative of a real flavor instead of a completely agree, yeah. <laughs> so it feels it's definitely more subtle. It's definitely you gotta work yeah. for it. Yeah, it's more it's more subtle, but at the same time, I would say that it's like more realistic. It's like if Starburst is Starburst is like like a porn star, then this is like like an, an, a natural like amateur porn. Well, yeah. I think that like, <laughs> encapsulates it. <laughs> that's our that's our Metacritic quote for these products. <laughs> It's a pull for it. But, um, okay, if you want me to continue that, this feels like a more like amateur. This feels like a normal person doing porn, but I think it's actually a porn star. And they just retitled <laughs> the video. They retitled the video so you think it's amateur, but really, it's, it's, not. it's been assigned to the wrong category. Right? <laughs> yeah. Or no, when they're trying to fool us, he's saying uh, they're trying to trick us. Right. Yeah. So they've assigned. No, it not necessarily. It's just that's the that's the taste. They want something that's more subtle, but it's, it's not so overwhelming. I don't blame them for that. I think it's more pleasant than Starburst. I do too. And Laffy Taffy for that matter. See, for me, I like kind of the big bright flavors of a Starburst orange. I like it to kind of be, to kind of sting a little bit. It needs to be a little mm -hmm. big. It needs to pop. It needs to be big. With these, this just does very little for me. So it's just like, why is this thing in my mouth? It's just like, it's like I'm not getting anything out of it. And you know, I, it's not unpleasant to me. It's just, it's just like, I don't really see much of the points. Like it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I take the orange flavor a lot. That's what I had. I mean, I could try another flavor, but I don't, I don't know. I assume they're going to be kind I of the same. I've tried two flavors and the same. subtle Lemon, I think, is quite strong. Yeah, lemon is quite strong. The I'll red is lemon. definitely the most unsettled from the two I've had. Mm -hmm. So what, lemon you or red? You also have blue. Lemon. Lemon. I might be missed. The red was a disappointment. No, that's banana. 
What are blues? Uh, that's what's really? intriguing to me. Only two. This is Caramelos Blando. Oh wait, maybe that's a, just the general the description. Name? Maybe no, yeah, this says oh, sabor this. anana. So okay. whatever anana is. That's just a pineapple. A pineapple. Would you all love pineapple? No, this is pineapple. Blue, apparently. It's pineapple. Lemon. 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 Well, I like oh. the lemon one. I'm digging the yellow. Uh, this is more my speed. It's got like a lemonade flavor. It's very warm. It's very nice. It, it's not sour at all, but it's identifiable as lemon. This is one I would come back to, not the orange though. I'm intrigued by the pineapple though. The green had like a minty you know, kind of quality. The blue, the blue is quite good. Mmm. The orange. I like the orange. Well, uh, I'm gonna uh, just say, uh... They're all like white. They're all very yeah. pale versions of the colors. Sorry, go on. Six out of ten. I'm gonna go try this one first. I don't think that this is like super great, but right now in this moment in time, I'm really digging it. I'm gonna give it a solid six point five. Even though we are in America, I'll give it a seven out of ten. I quite enjoy it. Blue tastes like pina colada. That's what I'm getting more than anything. Well, yeah, isn't the pina the and pina colada pineapple? <laughs> that's the pineapple. And pineapple and coconut. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Quite good. Yeah, blue's nice. Yellow's nice. I would say um. I'll say six. Yeah, that sounds better. Right. All right, well, uh, got the second to last. Oh, this is this is the fucking shit, Vaquita. All right, well, this is a family this. show. Well, this is this is the best. I love this. Like I've had this before. Stars, yeah. It's uh, it's basically, <laughs> I don't make and the I think the weird weird censorship rules. there are only four of them, so we're gonna have to like split them in half. But no problem. These are um, so it means little cow. And it's, it's a tablet of dulce de leche, which is just caramel. Mm. And it's all uh, fucking, it's, it's really, really, really good. It's really good. Okay. Is dulce de leche caramel exactly? Is it it it's a little bit different. It depends on the brand. I do love oh. dulce de leche. I love times. this little package. You can feel it rattling around inside. Oh, I love the little bit. Look at the cows. That's so cool. Very you know, minimalist. Yeah. I mean, the little... You guys are good. Yeah. yeah. You sure? Yeah, it's really good. No, I have a, I'll have a piece. Alright, okay. Yeah, we can share. Yeah, alright. Break her open. So, comes. And we have it. It's wrapped. individually wrapped. Yeah, and it looks thing. like it's a little cookie. This is, again, like a I perfect gotcha. Halloween pack. Yeah, yeah, this would be. This would be. <laughs> this would be perfect. For, I would be really pleased if I went trick or treating and I got one of these. Opening it's a little bit of a pain. The plastic wrapping itself is a little annoying. Well, I managed to do it with one hand, so. Yeah, but. Outer texture is interesting. Feels a bit dusty, sandy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little rough and sandy. That's why they wrap it in the plastic until so it doesn't get out and get everywhere. The smell is interesting. I'm getting dulce de leche. And, um. Wow. It's like there's an opaque shell, like a hard shell, and it's not letting you smell underneath it. You're just smelling the shell. It entices, but it's. So it's, it's keeping up quite a wall. It's quite hard too, and I have no idea what the texture is going to be once I bite into it. It could be anything. It could be chewy. It could be crunchy. I don't know what's it's, but it's a hard surface. I think you're in for a surprise. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love the way it just melted. Oh yeah. Disintegrated on my tongue evenly. It's a textural delight. You bite into it, and it like just kind of explodes. And yeah. In pieces. It like collapses like. Touch the statue and the statue shatters. That's how it feels. It turns into sand, but it's like kind of melty yeah. sand. It's a, it's a riddle. It's a magic substance. It's like yak <laughs> or something. Like, yeah, it feels so good. Like, like, yeah, you can, but then as soon as you bite into it, just mm, there's the air. This is also, I just want to mention, uh, apparently gluten free. <laughs> so, this is one of the best candies I've ever had. This is outstanding. Did you get some? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it with my eyes closed, which is this a sign is, of approval. No, uh, it's amazing. This is as good as it gets. Every time, every time, my dad goes on vacation. It's like, I hope, oh gee, I hope he brings back some of this. You know what's great, though? For me, anyway, it's a very savory treat. Like, this Yeah. Is, this is the perfect amount. It's rather salty. Too much, it's sweet right? and salty. This is a perfect way to end a meal. Oh, yeah. I would think. I love the restaurant gave these out as like almost sort of mints. Well, yeah. Something. I mean, I feel like it's what we keep coming back to, but again, mm -hmm. like the cup of coffee slash or you know, a cup of milk. But we maybe. got a lot of chocolates in here. Right. Hot so chocolate. Yeah. I'm. 
phenomenal. It has, it has a sort of buttery flavor to it, mm -hmm. and some of the salt, but that really nicely complements, you know, the dulce de leche, the caramel, the the and the chocolate, which is subtle, but yeah, delicious. It's perfectly balanced. Every little flavor, and there are like a half dozen flavors. They're all just just right, just in the right proportions. There's the salt. There's the sweet. There's the caramel. It's just it's all it all just works beautifully. But yeah, I love this is my favorite thing we've reviewed today for sure. Nine point five out of ten. I'm gonna give it a little bit lower than the apple juice. But I'm gonna go eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm I'm really I'm gonna go nine. I'll go eight. All right, guys. Now we have we one get, more thing. We have one more. Let's get this on the table. Save the last. I'll, I'll put it in the garbage. What are you doing over there? Evil little garbage pile? Like <laughs> he's going to give me a tell well, the, the trash is across from Connor's. So. Why is there half a thing left? That was mine. You're, you're saving it? it? Dude, oh. <laughs> thanks, thanks, man. I was like, I found treasure. Yeah. Like, oh my god, there's more? The stupendously named Rhodesia <laughs> candy. The so perhaps, the you know, Cecil Rhodes, who was sort of a colonial explorer administrator in southwestern Africa. He get a, found get a picture of him, because there's there's this political cartoon that I'm thinking of. He's on he's screen like, right now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like his, his legs are like railroads or something. So a country in Africa, colonial territory, was named after him. A few um, hints in uh, Taylor Swift's Wild the Strings video. Yeah, there's some, these things are the still around today. I'm Imperialism. I'm also scholarship. He established that. If you want to get that, to go to London to study or whatever. Oxford. Oxford, excuse me. Cambridge. Cambridge, yes. Very prestigious, but that was Cecil Rose that did that, along with along with this snack, whatever is in it. Yeah, I have no, no clue what this could be. It looks like like it's packaged like tissues. There's, there's... It is very colorful. It is. <laughs> I just don't, I have no clue what kind of, can I, it might not even be edible. I don't I know. I do like the, the colors, <laughs> but it's it's packed very loosely. You can hear it kind of shaking around. There's not a lot of, I mean, it's it's got some weight, but it's just kind of like, like it's, I, I want it to be like packed tight, but it's really not. The way of the package is kind of interesting. It kind of splits down the middle in an interesting way. You're supposed to pull it apart. Oh, that. what? That's not what I expected. Weird. And we got a bunch of, look at this crap. Oh my Again. God. I want to get this in my Halloween. Always packaged inside the package. We well, got a lot of that. From and the outside, it feels like a wafer. It's, it's, so, it's rather light, and I, I feel the texture, the wafer texture. Yeah, it's very, it's very airy. It's very light. You can tell there's some air going on. But yeah, I feel the weight. I'm getting the wafer sense myself. We're like almost like a, yeah. I mean, I love the unassuming minimalist packaging as well. Just the name. In a kind of a bland font, and then the co the orange and the other colors. It says Obles con relleno sabor a limón, con. Does that say? Mm. There's gonna be lemon filling. Oh, it's stained my hand. I got chocolate on my hand already, so it's you gotta hold it. There's in chocolate the on the outside. There's a very shiny layer of chocolate on the outside, not unlike those donuts earlier. Not quite as artificial and shiny as that, but the same kind of thing. Oh, well, the, uh, the camera. What? I have to put down the camera oh, open this. Wow. The initial, the initial bite starts off somewhat okay, kind of heads downhill. I feel like I'm dancing. Like, what, what, I, I, don't, I, don't understand. It's, I don't understand. Like, I don't it, it's really going back and forth, like, in its aftertaste. Like, it's something I'm like, do I like it or do I not? And, I don't know, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work for it me. Is, it is, it goes this way and that. I'm watching yeah. it go, I don't know where it's going. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, she's like, she's pulling away, she's coming yeah. back, and she goes over there, and then it's like, I don't know what's going on. It's it's got the chocolatey, but it's got the it's lemon It's a chocolate-covered wafer with lemon filling. Which, right. to me, that sounds like, like a terrible idea. Like, I would never, like, if I heard that's what this was, I would never want to get it. And yet, when you're actually, it's in your mouth, it's kind of like, okay, oh, we got a thumbs up. Kirk. Delicious. It's the best thing we've had. I, you know, the best better thing. than, wow, better than the, um, caramel. I just, um, I think the, the hint of lemon adds an element of freshness. Fresh, I don't know. And, mm, and I love the, the, the crispness, but it's not it's not necessarily crunchy. It's just kind of crisp mm. with, the, with the wafer. But I think it, overall, this is something I could see myself enjoying every day. Mm. And I think that is why I like it the most. I think when you talk about refreshing, what I think the way this was conceived is like, we want to make a chocolate treat that is refreshing. It's like kind of light and airy, because so they made it a wafer, and they added the lemon to give it just this crisp, 
nice fresh flavor. But to me, all that stuff is kind of undercover the fact that this is a chocolate thing, and it's kind of complicated, because to me, a big part of it being refreshing is it leaves either a crisp or a very minimal aftertaste. This is a very strong chocolate aftertaste, which is not particularly pleasant. So I, I think it's kind of undercutting itself. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of working against its own ends. So I would say it doesn't really work. It's very interesting, and I'm enjoying it, just, just kind of the experience of it, but I have no interest in having it again. Just like colonialism. I'm going to subscribe to the uh, Gunter Graw view and uh, say it's a disappointment. I'll leave it there. Connor? Still I'm with him. I think it's a uh, very interesting, super interesting candy. Um, it is refreshing. It is still chocolate. It's just chocolate mitigated by the lightness of the lemon, which is a great, uh, you yeah. know. And, um... Yeah, I love, I love, I'm a sucker for wafers. I gotta, I gotta come clean. I'm a sucker for wafers. I love, like, wafers, any, anything, you know, where I can get a bit of crunch. Um, and I'm not a big fan of, like, really hardcore chocolate. What's interesting about this is you bite into it, and it's very complicated, the taste that you get. It's kind of different every bite. But you get, first the lemon, which is very nice and sweetening. It's the kind of the bitterness of the cocoa. And then you get the real sweetness of the chocolate, which does last, the last note I think you get. Mm. Um, it's good though. I love this. Yeah. You know, the more you. I eat it, the more it's kind of growing on me. I think it is very interesting. Um, I would say, I would say probably, probably a six. No, it's fine. The more I took a bite, the more disinterested I became. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, about four out of ten. Really? Wow, we are split. I'm gonna give it a nine. Oh my god. I, I, I'm having, I'm having problems with this. I just, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm gonna give it a solid 5.5. 5. Mm. Okay. And what do you think? Well, 10 out of 10, hype! No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a 9. It's a good, it's a very good snack. snack. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's lighter than it should be, and I like that. Mm. I, I feel like it's not bringing me down. Divisive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like controversial snack. <laughs> I would get say, the, get the. I would say our recommendations for unabashed resume, re recommendations would be the, the apple no juice. Question. Run out right now and get this in your fridge. I don't care if you're allergic to apples. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> As for the, the other, what was the other thing? Right there. The, 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 I think we were all pretty The uh, These yeah. things are, are incredible. They're delicious. They're awesome. I don't know if there's any way you can get these, but if you do, I mean, get them. The others are more mixed on, but um, these I'd say that for me are the two Okay. Alright guys, thanks. Thank you. See you next year.